shoulder blades. Everyone forgets about the shoulder blades. It's important for them to be mobile and to not have any tightness or restrictions around their movement. So a lot of people that have neck and shoulder issues generally have a lot of tightness and rigidity in their shoulder blades. So it's important we get those moving and all the muscles around them so they can support the whole shoulder joint. So you can do this, stand up, hands flat along the wall, about shoulder height. What you want to do is focus on drawing the shoulder blades together and a downwards direction, gently. So draw them together and down the back and then release them. So you might feel a stretch in the upper back and then you draw them together and down the back and then release them. So you can try it with one arm to see whether one side moves better than the other. So draw the shoulders way together towards the midline and away. So towards the midline and down the back and release. Compare left and right towards the midline and down the back and release. Do you feel a difference between left and right? If there's any type of restriction, then this could be an area of weakness and also can create some more tension at the front of the arm. So I suggest you do that um, twice a day, morning and evening, maybe 10 times to help improve the shoulder blade function.